where we've got two Silua rods out, two worm rods out, and we're fishing maggot as well for small stuff. And the mist is just coming down the river and the sun just rising on the first morning of this week's fishing trip. We're into a little bream already. Get the net now. Mm, I'll get it. It's alright, I'll get it. And go down. It's awkward with the camera today because we're fishing lower down. It wouldn't be an idea to bring the rods down here actually. There he is, not a bad little fish. Well done. I was hoping it'd be yours, but <laughs> I'll get you another one in a minute. Very nice, lovely fish. Yeah, beautiful condition. Yeah. There we go. So, first fish of the morning before we even get properly tackled up. <laughs> to another wee bream. In fact, I'm not sure what it is. It's a wee perch, not a bream at all. <laughs> so, who knows what's going to come out of here this morning. There we go. Tiny little fella, look. Oops. Amazing you could get that. Jeff, yeah, has come to visit me for a week. Look at the camera, Jeff, and say hello. Hello, good and morning. Have you had a good time so far? Oh, it's wonderful. It's a beautiful place, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's a, the scenery, the noise is absolutely silencing. It's wonderful. And you had a nice meal last night of... Uh, Fabulous meal. Beef stew. And that'll be another one tonight. Oh, look, our float's moving a bit, so we've got some no, fishes alive enough out there. Um, and he's going to be a week here. Um, I'm guiding him around for the week and make sure he catches some fish. We hope he will. I've already caught two before he gets his tackle up, so <laughs> I've got to try and catch some more now. We've had the only two fish in the yeah, bloody river. Yeah. Both of them have been caught, so. <laughs> no, it's. Um, um, it, it's you, the, the scenery here is just unreal. It's uh, French will say incroyable. Uh, yes, very. Um, but we've got such a diversity from the lakes to these bits of river to the barrage to trout streams, and you know, we're going to be catching all sorts of fish this week. We've already had a bream and a, and a, and a little um, perch. perch, as you've seen. And uh, this afternoon, we're going up to try for some barbel and more roach. Um, just after this, this, in fact, up at the wooden bridge, and then tomorrow off to a small private pond, see if we can get some bass and carp. Maybe another another spot for, for some wild carp. Um, pick up a key to go fishing at a private lake, and we're, he's even going to try um, to catch some carp on fly and so on. We're going to have a lot of fun this this time, trying different techniques. So he'll share with us the week's experience, and hopefully provide my friend here with some really good. I'm questions. sure you will, Peter. I'm looking forward to every. Minute. We're not sure we've got a small bream on or not. It'll be a very small one. Anything on there? No. Never mind, missed that one, but we just had a bite, so it's the start. Oh, I don't know, what's it? Oh, no, there's fish there, yeah. yeah. Small one, just lift him up, don't need a net for that one. Oh, no, he's just to do it for you. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Look at that. Absolutely. It's beauty, isn't it? It is in beautiful condition. Look at that perfect scales on it. Colours? Yeah. I'll let you do the honours on that in a minute. Put him, put him in the net. I haven't caught a beautiful roach like that since I was a child. That is a and smashing fish. That is a fish. long time ago. Yeah, that must that be is a three crack. quarters of a pound. I was thinking, yeah, easily. Yeah, cracking fish. Okay, well we'll show him back in again then. Yep. So he sat down again and relaxing, and we'll see what next the next species looks is. Like he might have been into his first bream. Is that a bream? It looks like a bream. It certainly does. Yep. Not a huge fish, but uh, quality. Beautiful fish. It's a fish. Yep. So they are still there, but they're few and far between this morning. There we go. 
Yeah, I'll just come in and photograph that a minute. A feeder stream coming in here that has a few fish around it, so we're just trying down there. Well, the foxes go past just now, but it looks like a coipy over there at the moment, far side of the bank. Just wandering about this morning, having a nibble. Well, that's it for the moment here, the sun's up and we're going to go onto the wooden bridge now and see if I can get him a small barbel or a nice chub there. We've stopped fishing here, fish have stopped feeding. Uh, tend to do that once the sun gets up here. Right, we're up at the wooden bridge now, beautiful, and the sun's just in between little clouds. And our friend is up there, just walking along the bridge ready to fish. I'll join him in a moment when I've got prepared. Right, let's see if we can catch anything here from the bridge again. And maybe a small barbel if we're lucky. And uh, who knows? We'll put on just a couple of maggots on this and uh, see what we can do. Then the idea is to get it just down below between those two rocks, just the other side. A bit more this way, not much wind today, which isn't too bad. Just to the left is better, but we'll try there first of all. Is that sinking all right? Okay, we're into the little ones. Fishing a little bit shallower, just got them going. So hopefully eventually we'll get something a little bit larger. Another little roach comes out. They're starting to feed now, might get something better, but not a bad little fish look. I'll keep it still. There we go. Yes, we're getting a bit bigger as they come now. Should could just lift this one out. And I think it's our first little barbel. So we are going to be into them. There we go, up he comes. Yes, it's a baby barbel. It's a bleak, another specimen. So another little species here at the bridge, small bream. Ah, he's got one at last, a little perch, I think. Yep. Yeah, but at least he's got one off the bridge. We've been watching some big fish. There's, there's big uh, carp and chub in there. I'm going to want this to as well. Yeah. It's a little perchy. Yeah. Now I brought him down to the mill on the Grand Cruise to try for some barbel with worm under the bridge here. I'm going to try a little bit lower down with maggot. Well, I've been wanting to fish this spot a while, but something down there, maybe. Another go. Well, there's something down there, alright. These, these small things. Another go. At last we've got one of them, a little tiny roach. That's possibly all there is in here is these little tiny roach. French would like these, they'd have them as, as white bait. They're little tiny things, which you could fry up for white bait. set up at the small pond of Simon's in the hope that we might get a, a bass really for my friend here but anything will do. I've had a little touch I think from a perch on the worm so far and that's it so far but let's hope. Uh, it must be a small fish. Well might be the only fish of the day at this rate tiny perch gobbed down that huge amount of worms. <laughs> it's a small one again but I can't be sure. That will do.
Uh, he's got his first carp of the trip. Huge, but a nice little fish. Nice little fish, aren't they? Gorgeous. They're perfect condition and... Uh, Up to the mat then. Well done Jeff. Nice little common carp. In perfect condition. Right, you want to hold him up? Careful it. Oh. Right, come down to the shallow end now. Try a bit of cross into these shallow waters. I've seen one or two fish moving down here. So I'll just put a little bit of flake on and get it under the water slightly and See if we can get these fish interested, they're not doing much at the moment. Alright, so you can see fish going for the bread out there. So let's see if I can just plonk it next to them. Not far out. That's disturbed them a little bit there, they might come back again in a minute. Didn't like that much, but we'll see if anything takes. Yes, we're into one now in the shallows. Not a big fish, but they're all fighting well here. Gradually working back. He's just about spent now. I'm going to go in there and get him out. Here we go. Into the water after him. So it's a bit less shallow in this mud. Nice dark and bronzed. Oh, lovely looking fish actually. Got beautiful colours on it. Look at that. That is really nice. It's almost like a koi. Beautiful fish. Let's take him up to the other camera. Isn't that isn't that a pretty fish? Very orange. So I can, uh, I'll just show it to you. It's beautiful. Orange markings. Isn't that a and we'll let him go out here. There we go. A lovely pretty fish. And off he goes. That's a nice looking fish. Yeah, he's been killed. Oh, he's been... It's the biggest, biggest today. There he goes. Well done. That's it. Yeah, very strange, isn't it? Fitting his fin. Just turn yeah, him around. And that's your second fish out. Well done. Yeah. So we're on in the shallows again. Let's get him out of the way of the other fish. It's only about a foot, one foot six deep there, and about the same in mud or more. I'll get him up into the shallows here. Only a small fish, but good sport. Keeps me occupied before we go to lake tomorrow with even more fishing. In we go. That's got it. So another pretty little fish. I'm fishing under the trees here now and I'll pick some out at the edge. That is a, quite a good fish. <laughs> what have we got here? Yes, that's a nice, don't know how big yet, but it's the uh, biggest of the day for me. A good one. Not as big as your one, but not bad. Well, yeah, I keep leaving them for you, but I thought, well, that's enough now. You've had your chance. There we go. He's in. That's a lovely fish. I get, that's about seven, eight pound, that one. Look at that beauty. So we'll go and get him on the other camera. We've got a nice fish here. My first decent one of the day. 
can see there's some chewed marks and things on this one too. Look, the fin's been removed there slightly and something bashed it on that side. Very strange, isn't it? Mm. But a nice fish. I'll just have to get underneath this camera. About about six or seven pound. He'll do that, he'll do well. We're fishing underneath these trees here and there's a lot of fish just coming up for bits of bread around the edge. And I've had one nice one out, I just lost another bigger one. Uh, so we'll keep trying, I might pick another one or two out yet. Well, it's about time we had something different and here we have a nice specimen roach, but it has parasites all over it. Yeah. Right, let's get on with it again. What a bad fish. There we go. It's a nice end to the evening. That's a nice common carp there, look. Yes, makes a nice end to the evening. Probably the last fish I'll get this evening. There we go. Back in the dinner. Caught well for his size. Almost as well as that. You're not kidding. Good fish. Good. It's your day. It's your day. It's your day. It's your day. It's your Whoa, it's a big fish. It is a big one. Good. I'm on camera. Oh. Sorry? He's giving you a tussle. You don't get it. Oh, that's a lovely fish. You don't get it. Well done. I'll tell you what I did in a minute. You can enjoy. Well done, thank you. Well done, my friend. Well done, hey, well, well done, done, my friend. Hey, look at the camera at this one there. Wow, that's got to be nigh on ten pound. Ten or twelve pound. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Yeah, let's put him on the mat. Right. That's the best for ages. They're all as big as that fish you saw yesterday, isn't it? Yes. Oh, that's yes. beautiful. Well done. That's your fish of the week, I think. That is a lovely fish. You're proud of that one for your holiday. Yes. That's made the week. I mean, you don't get anything else, now you? No, I was just saying, I won't get another thing. You'll be pleased to see that. And he's, um, so carefully now, and we'll just photograph that. Get him. He's got something on his tail as well. Yeah, get him right that up is in a front. good 10, isn't it? Easily, yeah. Maybe 12. Ah! Well done. That's, and well, right, it'd be pleasing to show. i a secret a minute, that's how I did it. All right. Are you sure I you want to tell me? with me. <laughs> Excellent. Well, that's that's pleasing for me because I like to see my pals catch fish here. Oh, he's away. So, well, John has very kindly let us fish. He doesn't fish himself, but he wanted to know what's in here, and we're showing him what's in here. And some good fish, isn't there, John? Uh, apparently so. We're very grateful for you to let us come. Thanks very much, mate. Thank you. Lab away, and uh, Jeff's having a go with the fly rod and some special flies he's brought over. They look like bread. He's got a chance, I reckon. We can see the fish out there already. Having a good go at the bread. Alright, well we're down at La Boue, at the camping lake. And we're going to try out all sorts of different methods today, having fun. I just latched into the first fish of the day on the bread, as usual here. Make sure there are no barbs on the hooks. There we go. 
First fish of the day. Two. A carp on the fly that he's brought along. So they will take it. Which is great stuff. So on a fly rod, special fly, and a bit of sport. Not quite done yet. That's a nice fish too. There we go. So you're a chuffed man now, aren't you? I'm a chuffed man. Everything's well, coming together. This, catch on, that on this holiday, everything's coming together for you. That. The fire I never thought I'd use. Yeah. Get some bigger. All right, and there's the fly. It will be in a minute. Tied by Peter Cockwell. I'll get it out in a minute. It's tied by Peter Cockwell and it's called the mop because it is part of a mop. Well, it's caught a fish, so let's see what else you can get. So yep. we're on. But not a fly I would have thought of using. Mop fly. This time. Oh, he's got a baby one. Yep. So it works, this uh, mop fly. Back in again. On the flyer rod and the mop fly. We'll try different flies throughout the day. I'm going to put a bit of polystyrene on mine later and see what that does on the flyer rod just for fun. I'm going to try messing about with this fly fishing light now. I've got a bit of polystyrene here. I'll take a chunk of that off and just see what happens if I whack that out on the surface and make some bread. And we'll see if a fish has a go at that. Let's see what will happen with a, a fly rod and a bit of floating plastic. See what that does. A bit further out. Oh, this rod's difficult. So like that. Polystyrene and it works. Fish away on a polystyrene. Well, there you go. Look, who needs who needs fancy flies? The hooks come out. They've just left the polystyrene behind. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll see if anything eats that. <laughs> well, I'm blown. Bit of polystyrene then on a fly rod. What can you say? Oh, there we go. So, polystyrene, great stuff. In on the boilies. I don't think it's a very big fish, but not bad. And that's these whitefish boilies that I bought the other day. At, well, you bought me uh, the 20 euro box. What's that? That 20 euro box. Yeah, had a bit. feel too bad. Oh, yeah. It's picking out the big ones that's the difficult part. You get the bread going and you have to go for a decent one. Not bad. Nice fish, yes. Didn't think big nets with me. Enough messing about, out you come. That's it. Uh, it's about uh, six pound, a chunky fish. Well, I was just putting the fly rod out of the way. We've got a nice chunky fish here, about six pound on the triple boilies. He's in on the fly again. Enjoying himself thoroughly, I think, this holiday. Nice fish. Not a bad fish, nice coloured one. There we go. Oh, it's 
special prawn. Beautiful in the sunlight here. There he comes. You'll do. Gotcha. Another nice fish on the bread. This one about six or so. Looks lovely in the sunshine, doesn't it? Well, coming into the evening and uh, had a lot of fish today. I must have caught about 70 or so. And uh, my guest has caught quite a few as well, which is good. Um, and this, as we're coming towards the evening, this last fish in the front. He must be a, coming on seven or eight pound, I think. As you can see, a very nice fish. Well, we're just finishing off and packing up now for the evening, and I've got. One quite nice fish on, just when we're finishing. Last very pretty fish for the evening. Well, we're back at Simon's Pond and uh, Jeff's having a day here with me, it's his last day. We may get a bit of fishing tomorrow morning but we're going to have a go at the carp and rudd in here. I would have put him just to the left of that tree really, to the left there, but he's chosen that spot so let's see how he does. And he's using maize over there and a bit of bread. And I've set up this end again. He had a choice to stay here with me wherever he wanted to go, try to look after people, give them the best spots so he can come back here if he start catching fish here. And I'm fishing down here again with the bread and the lilies. Last chance I get this year. So we're set up here. And we're down at the Simon's Pond again here, and uh, there's some fish just having a mess about here. We'll see if we can get one tempted out. Well, the fish are showing a little in. Something going on down there. Yeah, we're in. Got to keep them out now. Dark pond fish. Well, here we are. One first fish in the morning. The carp, a small one, about three pound. But uh, let's hope there's going to be more. But a pretty little dark pond fish look. But as long as you're enjoying yourself oh, sitting yeah, here. I'm fine. I am fine. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Very little sign of feeding. I've seen one more carp on the top over there, but he was very wary. Well, we've got beautiful conditions today and the flies are buzzing around now. I've got a float out and that's the lilies in front of me here. And uh, just waiting to see if the fish will move a bit more as the day goes on. Fish just been over there, splashed there, but it's just on this bit of bread just now. And the fish moving out here, we'll see if we can get close enough to get a cast near him. Right, let's get this one out. Bring him along. much bigger. all in good time. small but a lovely pattern on it, the scale. One thing's for sure, we've got to keep ourselves going. So a couple of the beer here. Well, Jeff has one at last. Only a small but a nice little fish. So he's broken his duck here and uh, hopefully we'll get some more. Well done Jeff. That's on corn isn't it? Yeah. Corn, yeah. There he goes. 
I let it go right out. Yeah. Hey? No, I just, let it just... go a bit longer. Yeah. Well, no, actually, I'd shorten it. That's it. Jeff and I have tried here all day. We've been working up to this as the final and it's let us down. He's had one little fish, I've had two and lost a few. Been very hard. We've been building up. He's had his biggest fish of his life, and the carp that is, and the most carp for the moment. I'm sure he'll do a lot bigger later, I hope to too. Uh, we may have a go tomorrow morning, we're not decided yet. But it's been a fun few days and uh, tonight we're going out to a very special French restaurant, so maybe I'll show you a bit of that. Okay. <laughs> Merci. Oh, this is so good. I said it would be good. Yes, it is. Well, well, here we are towards the end of a holiday. Tomorrow, we have the last morning special in a great few days. Here we are now at the Marchevia, and uh, my guest is very kindly, Jeff is very kindly, invited me out for another meal. I can't say uh, I could have a more exemplary uh, guest. He's looked after me always from his end as well. Pay for the fuel, I pay for the food, I've taken me out, and I've tried to reciprocate in every way that I can by giving him the best fishing I can and putting him where the fish are, even if we can't always catch them. So, well done, Jeff, it's been fantastic. And now I'll let Jeff tell you about his feelings over the week. I've paid him a lot of money to, 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 to say the next thing. <laughs> okay, Jeff, thanks. Okay, the plat, the main course has arrived. I have my coxswain jack. And uh, that is the ver or something. The and uh, it looks very good. It looks so amazing. Mate, you've enjoyed the week. Yes, it's. Um, I wasn't sure what to expect. Um, the scenery, the fishing has been hard, difficult. The scenery um, was difficult. No, the scenery. Was, well, <laughs> the scenery was good. Um, the fishing was, shall we say, trying. Yeah, the water's um, low, isn't it? But the water's low, it's difficult everywhere. I mean, back in the UK, um, people, are, trout fishers, fisheries are suffering, lack of water. You can't expect anything else. Even so, we've seen the fish. I've put you over Oh, them. we have seen fish. Um, in that big carp, we've seen some big chub. Um, um, yes, seen some, but that uh, one below the bridge was uh, enormous. Um, and to be wild in a river is something rather than being in a still water, which is what I came for. So, yes, I've had a lovely time. Peter's been a good host most of the time. Uh, except, and the rest? Except when he gets lost, but that's only... Or uh, well, when he loses his keys, but that's another matter. <laughs> um, but now, you've had your biggest carp, haven't you? I've Not had huge, my but... first carp. Oh, is that right? My yeah. first carp. Well, you've had more than first. Um, I mean, that, you, yesterday first, we had about 30 on My first carp ever on the fly, which yeah. I was determined to do. And in spite of all the help and advice I had from Peter Cockle back in the UK, even down to giving me the flies, the fly that I caught my first carp on was in fact a mop, uh, which my friends in the UK will know are, but it is literally, it is the bristle off of mop tied onto a hook and it caught at least 30 carp. Well there you go. So there you go. So you've had your most carp, you've had your biggest carp, uh, which was I on a... fish every day. Yeah. Um, Even today, which was a struggle. I mean the last day today I thought we were going to do well, but no, no, it just didn't happen, did it? It's just... School. But we still have tomorrow morning. <laughs> well, tomorrow morning we're going to have a little go at the we'll river. We'll go back on the river, yep. see what we can do on the river, and uh, wind up a very pleasant few days. Yeah, we're going to go to town, we're going to go to visit some places tomorrow, because there there's been so much fishing we haven't had time to even really see the views. No, and the, um, views, the views out here are stunning, absolutely stunning. And even my cooking isn't that bad, no, it's and the accommodation's <laughs> okay, you've slept okay in your bed. I have slept, apart from having to get up at half past six every morning. But this was your choice? Yes, yeah. but um, never mind, no, it's been a great few days, and very grateful for you, thank you. No, it's you. been good having you. Come again, I hope. You know, yes, And I'll see you in England, we'll do some fishing there. Definitely. But now we are going to go back to this, <coughs> and then maybe tomorrow we'll show you a bit more film, but it's been good. I'm also puffy! <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm not. Are we? No, no, no. <laughs> it's involved to sign it off in stages, so you get the See, I'm black. The quality of tree behind to Konewi. <laughs> so normally see the sauce, c'est super. Coxon Jack, super. 
Quelle que question Quelques mots. Oui. What question do you have Oui. You have a question I will try if you don't. If you cannot. What a superb uh, fromage. Table of fromage. She might bring me something. So you came for a relaxing holiday and you feel you've had a good holiday? Yes, definitely. A very relaxing holiday. And the wine's not bad either. The <laughs> company's better. Wow. Let's see. We. We. And Grand Café uh, Olé is a good one. And uh, the Negro. Noir. So, uh, noir. Un espresso and a manger crème. It's our last morning and. Uh, we're just having a little go down the river. Unfortunately, the worms have turned. We hadn't realised they got a bit warm the other day. But we've got some live baits out and uh, having a little go with Maggot for fun. So we'll see what happens, what we can do. Beautiful misty morning. Signs of fish when we first got here, but we just have to see. You never know. Yeah, it looks it. I hope. Might be the only fish of the morning. What have we got? Something there. Something? Yes. However, however piddly. Yes, this is. Oh! Perch. A little perch. Well, I'm buggered. Oh, it's not a bad perch. little fish. Oh, oh what? The disgorger. Yep. Well, all is not totally lost then. We've had a, a couple of fish. We've had a little bream, a little roach, and perch. But we've got. We've got the worms to fish with, unfortunately, so we'll just see if we can get a few fish out on these this early morning. Enjoy. Absolutely beautiful reflection this morning. I need a wide angle lens. Yeah. I will go for something a little better. Oh well done. That is a that is a roach. Now that is a nice fish. That's that's on a that's a good pan. What was that on? On those rotten worms. <laughs> but look at that. That is a beautiful fish. It is, yes. That's a lovely roach, isn't it? So what do you reckon to this view then? That's not bad at all, is it? If you look down the bottom there, there's that trout stream. Trout catch and release. And then down below, the trout stream. Yeah, there are so many areas I haven't managed to show you yet, so much more to see. The whole area is so diverse with lakes and rivers and streams.
So for your summer residence, would this do you? Seems we haven't been inside now. Inside Chateau de Bonneau. Oui. Tenez, vous pouvez entrer. Entrez.